Oh, what's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to episode one of Night of the Dead Raven. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long this entire season or series is going to go, but just to give you guys a little bit of backstory to this, as this loud-ass helicopter still just kind of blares in the back, um, there is, uh, there's a little story behind it. Uh, basically, the Russians were sent to invade Alaska and steal some kind of virus that was, you know, made by the Americans that started some kind of outbreak. And I am part of a Raven Special Forces bio team, I guess. Uh, and basically, it all takes place on the Thirsk Winter map. If you guys aren't uh, familiar with the Thirsk map, uh, you know, just Google it or look it up on YouTube. And, you know, the, the scenario or mod or whatever you want to call it has some pretty spooky sounds, I guess. Uh, you guys are hearing some music. We started actually over there on that little island, and now we're... Let's see, where are we at? I think we're... Yeah, I think we're down here in this landing zone. Uh, I mean, basically we have to get up here, but, you know, you saw the green little arrow down towards the coast where we landed. And... I don't know, I kind of wanted to give this thing a shot. Uh, without night vision looks okay. I'm probably going to go with night vision for most of the thing, though, but we'll try it out without it for right now. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I wanted to give this little uh, single-player thing a shot, see what it was like, and maybe draw some attention to this, because, I don't know, it might be interesting. There were some creepy birds there, I guess. There's some cigarettes on the ground, some empty, what looks like ginger ale bottles or something, and some a Humvee on fire. Kind of hoping that this one has some gas in it. All right, that's cool. It's got some gas in it. Tell these fucking imbecile AI to get in here with me, I guess. And uh, we'll go to our next objective. Come on, get him. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the the mod itself doesn't really it doesn't really require too many downloads. Uh, you have to obviously get the map, which is, like I said, Thirsk Winter. Um, also, you're probably going to end up having to download a couple of other things. I think, uh, like, two mods for, uh, like, faction kind of stuff. I don't know. I mean, if, if you guys are interested in it, you know, there'll be a link in the description to the uh, Steam Workshop page, which is, you know, where you get this kind of custom content. And, uh, I don't know, some of it's pretty interesting, most of it's probably shit, but, I don't know, I, I kind of like this so far. I mean, I haven't really played it too much yet, but, I don't know, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging the atmosphere, at least, and I almost hit that rock there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm digging the atmosphere, at least, and so far it's, uh, kind of immersive. <laughs> um... Can't really say that anything, uh, anything like too spectacular has happened yet, so... I don't know, there's a fire down here at the end of the hill, or at the bottom of the hill, and we're gonna go check it out. We got some, some more spooky mu music going on, and there's definitely some zombies running around. I wonder if this guy on the 50 cal is gonna shoot any of them. He's moving. Or he did. I'm all out of gas, so I'm just gonna keep rolling down the hill. There we go, finally. Use that fucking gun. I think I might be out of ammo. Is it? You gonna shoot anymore? Are you out of ammo? I think he's out of ammo, so... I don't know, but there are quite a few zombies around that down plane or helicopter. And now they're coming towards us, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell these guys to get out first. Now he's got more ammo. What the fuck was he waiting on? Whatever. Alright, so... I don't know how hard these, or how difficult these zombies are gonna be. Not seeing any. Did they take them all out already? Okay, they're definitely... Holy shit, they're getting attacked. All I've got is a stupid fucking pistol. Ah, uh, oh, you zombie fuck! Ah, oh, trying to get headshots on these guys. Not working out too well. Oh shit! <laughs> Almost got hit by a zombie there. Okay. 
Headshots aren't are too effective. I'm I'm sure it'll probably take a few. Especially since I have a silence weapon. It's probably not that strong against these zombies. I gotta give it up for the the music at least. The music is pretty immersive so far, so I'm 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 really digging the music at least. Uh Alright, I know I lost at least one guy so far. Uh Come on, guys. That would probably be a good idea if we just bailed. Come on. Come on. I'll keep the zombies off your fucking back as best I can with this silenced pistol. Jesus. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Fuck these guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't just stand there. Shoot them. This one guy's just standing there. What the fuck is his deal? It's like he wants to die. I think he's probably going to die. Because he's just... What the hell are you doing, dude? Come on. Let's go. Jesus. Alright, so I think... Okay, well there's a straggler out there. I doubt that I'm going to be able to hit him from here. But anyways, okay, let's go ahead and just take a look at the map real quick. Our next objective, uh, I guess would probably be up there, a little bit further north. So we'll just go ahead and make our way over there. I don't know, man. I mean, this whole, this whole, like, single player experience on Arma 3 is kind of different. I mean, like I said, you know, with with the music and the map, at least, it's somewhat immersive. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, the zombies, as far as, like, being able to take shots, they seem pretty, uh, pretty resilient. Um, but, yeah. We're just gonna keep coming up here, and it's fucking dark as hell, as you guys can see. That's why I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on the night vision. Kind of sucks that it's basically gonna be a video of a green circle with all the action taking place in it. I wish things could get a little bit brighter, but, I mean, I guess beggars can't be choosers. And I'm pretty sure that this entire mission is gonna take place at least in the early morning hours maybe get some like sun like some kind of sunrise towards the end of this but who knows i'm not really a fan of the fatigue system which it seems like they have in place uh yeah they're like you know that there's just like a bunch of different stories and all that kind of shit that kind of go in with the uh with the mod itself so you'll be able to read up all all that stuff But I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of digging it, kind of not. We'll we'll see how it goes. I think I saw someone pacing around up here, so I'm gonna be cautious. I know there there's some kind of fire. Yeah, there's a fire up there. The music has definitely gotten spooky, which leads me to believe that uh, there's definitely going to be something here. Probably a horde of zombies are going to run out. And... Okay, those are not zombies. Those are actual... Those are AI with guns. So, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm hoping I'm going to get an upgrade here. I'm going to go ahead and send in my, my two pawns to kind of scope out the site for me, and I'll just move in behind them. Maybe they can put one of these guys down and I can pick up their assault rifle or something, who knows. <clears throat> I think the music is trying to go for jump scares, but I don't know. I've, I've really never been affected too much by jump scares. Especially in video games, I, I don't know, there, there's just something, like, I can get into the video game and when, like, a jump scare sound comes up, I mean, I can, I can see the effect that they're going for, but at the same time, it really doesn't, it really doesn't have that jump scare, uh, 
uh, effect on me, you know? What the fuck is this guy hoping to accomplish? Oh, there's someone shooting at me with a silenced pistol. I'm just gonna lay down on the ground. Alright. I don't know if I got him there or not. I don't think I did. But whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and move up. Or not up, but around. Okay, there. He's still up. 